Gardening season has begun. Peat pods are expanding. So cool. Listen to that. Okay, so we've been keeping our plants in the basement with some grow lights. I mean, it's beneath a window, but you know, it's it's gonna get as much light as it's gonna get. Ah, we got sprouts. We have radishes. And I believe that's broccoli. Right here, that's broccoli. Peas, and then it looks like we have some green beans that are going to sprout. And maybe some corn, possibly. We'll see. I'm kind of annoyed. None of the tomatoes have sprouted yet. But, you know, they take, they take a few days to sprout, honestly. So it is Thursday, March 30th. And I'm going to go outside and check my seedlings. On days where it's been sunny and like 45 to 50 degrees, I've been sitting the little greenhouse uh, seed compartments outside so the plants can take advantage of the sunlight. So we're gonna see how well they're doing today. Well, it's been about 28 days, I believe, since I started planting seedlings. And here they are. I am giving them some good old sunlight and wind exposure because considering they're going to be planted outside, they're going to need it. A whole ton of tomato plants. I'm kind of annoyed. I have a ton of tomato plants that have sprouted, but zero pepper plants. Sorry, I'm next to a street. That's why the noise is kind of there. But one thing I am excited about, I, don't know, I planted a little jack pine. There's a huge jack pine in front of my grandma's house and I've always wanted to grow one and make one into a bonsai and I finally got a seed to sprout after 10 years of trying. It's so cute. So I've made the decision to make a gardening journal because of course I need yet another journal and I think I'm going to do this every season just to keep track of what I plant and how well it goes found this idea on TikTok and I thought it was really cool. I found this journal, I believe I got it at my grandma's house, um, and I don't know, being that both of my grandmas loved plants, this is my other grandma that I wasn't as close to, I figured I would honor her um, by using this journal, this beautiful journal that she just had lying around. So, so this year, here are the stats. Day 28, I did 72 peat pellets. Um, it looks like plant-wise, I'm doing pretty good with green beans, peas, broccoli, cilantro, a ton of tomato plants, radishes, 
and some long onion. I'm kind of disappointed. Uh, so like as well as the as the tomatoes are doing, I'm noticing this year that cucumbers, zucchini, and peppers are just not doing very well. It could be that those peat pellets just get really moist and some plants just don't germinate under more significant moisture. So we'll see what happens. But what a vibe, right? Just chilling out here, doing my little garden journal while having some coffee. I love it.